So there I was, just editing videos like I always do. Then out of the corner of my eye, someone had sent me a message through Instagram. Turns out, it was one of my subscribers from YouTube. I mean, I guess I really shouldn't be surprised at this point. But one thing that was different about this one is that he actually had some insight into the trailer, which we'll get into in just a bit. But not only did this person give me some info, the man went in and became a patron. So Danny Dupes is my first patron, and Ghost is my first donator. You guys are what keeps the dream alive. So thank you guys for your support. All right, enough talking. Let's get into the video. Along the shore, the cloud waves break. The twin suns sing behind the lake. The shadows lengthen in Carcosa. Strange is the night where black stars rise and strange moons circle through the skies. But stranger still, is lost Carcosa. Songs that the Haiti shall sing, where flap the tatters of the king, must die unheard in dim Carcosa. Song of my soul, my voice is dead. Die thou unsung as tears unshed, shall dry and die in lost Carcosa. Is this a clue? Or maybe it's just a random part from a book? Hmm, very interesting. Those of you that are unfamiliar with the person that I just presented, his name is Lobly. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Lobly? He was someone that applied for the audition that Void Interactive had back in April of last year. In fact, I have his audition right here. Let's take a listen. Stop right there, motherfucker. You are under arrest. Put your hands up where I can see them. Put the gun down. There's no getting out of this one. If you don't put the gun down, I am going to blow your head off. Stop right there, motherfucker. You are under arrest. Put your hands up where I can see them. Put the gun down. There is no getting out of this one. If you don't put the gun down, I'm going to blow your head off. The reason my patron brought this to my attention is because Lawably posted a video about a month after his audition, but the video itself was never really in the limelight, this is why it was so obscure. But it does have some insight that we haven't heard before. The caption says, Today I begin recording the biker character Johnny Axel Ramon for Ready or Not, the upcoming tactical shooter game from Void Interactive. Johnny Axel Ramon. That is a new name that I have not heard before. So let's take a listen. Okay. It's about to begin recording for the gameplay trailer for Ready or Not. Uh, first character on the agenda is Johnny Axel Ramon, biker. Where's Two Ball? Get Frankie over here, guys. These cops have some serious armor. They're here. Get back. Get back. That's kind of biker character. So what did we learn? Well, apparently there's going to be a biker gang in Ready or Not. That's very interesting, actually. There was also a couple of name drops in that. I don't know if you heard, but he said, uh, Johnny Axel Ramon, which we saw from the caption, Frankie and Q-Ball, names that we have not heard yet. And the way that he's saying these lines makes it seem like what they would be shouting in-game as you're running in to try and take them down. At least that's what I'm taking away from this. Maybe you have a different feeling. Let me know in the comments, because we're going to be listening to the next one right now. Who are you really fighting for? These fucking non-whites? Come here and mess with our values, take our jobs? And you just sit here and let it happen. You should be with us, hunting these fuckers down. Thought I heard this hotel was biker friendly. Fucking doubt they will be now. Maybe when we're done here, I'll rally up the troops. Get us a nice mob going. And fucking torch this shithole. This line sounds like it would be in the trailer, because it doesn't sound like one of the one-liners that we heard in the previous clip. Something that's interesting is the part where he says non-whites. It reminded me a lot of the picture that we saw in Void Interactive's Instagram, the 5150 guy. Could this be Johnny Axel Ramon? I mean, the voice doesn't strike me as somebody that would have this type of voice, but we did hear in the previous clip him say cue ball. Could this guy be cue ball? I mean, I could see him as, you know, his bald head, cue ball. <laughs> in my honest opinion, 
The voice looks like it would be for a character that was mysteriously deleted off of Dead Block 3's page. That's right, Void. I caught that. Can't hide anything from ye old do-rag. To me, this picture feels like a perfect fit for this voice. But I have been wrong in the past, so maybe it could be different. The part where he says, Come here, mess with our values, take our jobs, and you just sit there and let it happen, really plays into the narrative that Void is trying to set. And that being set in a nondescript modern America, where an income disparity between the classes have become unsustainable and the country has been plunged into havoc. Like, it just plays so well into that. After that, Axel, the character, mentions a hotel. And I really couldn't tell if this was an in-game one-liner or if it would be a part of the trailer. But after the first part, he did seem to take a lot of breaks, so maybe this part is to be in the game? I don't know. Back to the hotel. Could this be where a mission is to take place? Or maybe it's a part of the trailer. I'm not sure. Maybe it's both? One thing's for certain, I don't think we have any knowledge of a hotel as far as I know. People could say that it's this picture, but it's named apartment, not a hotel. I mean, Void could have switched it up at some point, but I don't know. The only thing that resembles a hotel, at least to me, is the scene where he's using that battering ram. Knock, knock. Man, if we could name our battering rams, I'd like to name mine Johnny. But yeah, I think that's the only hotel thing that I could think of. You know, this makes me wonder if any other voice actor has said anything in the past. Hmm, I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Well, I think that does it for today. I want to thank everyone for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye.